This video is going to cover the connectors you will find in use on televisions, amplifiers and source equipment. First up is the composite video connector. This uses an RCA type plug and is found on all video components. Above this in quality is the S-Video connector. S-Video is a higher quality video standard which uses a 4 pin arrangement to separate the colour and brightness components of the video signal. S-Video has virtually been superseded by newer connectors but still may be found on older DVD players, pay TV boxes and Hi8 video cameras. Here you can see the 4 pins used in the S-Video connector. S-Video just pushes in like so. Next up is component video. Component video uses a three cable system to transfer the video signal. It can support high definition video up to 1080p. We can see the connectors here. Basic RCA connectors matching up with their colours. Component video is found on all new TVs, DVD, Blu-ray players, game machines and some older televisions. HDMI is next. HDMI stands for High Definition Multimedia Interface. As you can see here, this looks like an oversized USB cable. It is a pure digital connector that transfers digital information from DVDs, Blu-rays, set-top boxes, etc. through to TVs and amplifiers. It can support high definition up to 1080p and also support high definition audio and newer versions will support 3D video. HDMI connectors will be found on most new digital TVs, DVD, Blu-ray players and newer gaming machines. Pushes in as so. On the sound side of things we have two types of digital connector. The coaxial digital connector and the optical digital connection. Coax digital uses a 75 ohm RCA cable, very similar to your normal RCA video, to transfer the digital audio signal, while optical uses a cable made from a piece of fiber optic strand, you can see it in there, to pass the digital audio signal using light. The optical cable uses a connector called a Toslink after Toshiba designed it.